Uh, hi, this is Siva Devaki from MassMailer. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, the BME record and how to set it up. Uh, so BME record means it's a brand indicator a message identification record. It's more like a um, TXT type uh, DNS record that you would add um, onto your posting provider, uh, which will basically help um, improve the email deliverability. Um, so whenever somebody receives an email, they would actually see the company logo uh, in front of the email. Uh, so that way it kind of um, shows uh, that it's authentic. Uh, and also it improves your brand marketing too. Um, so the way you can um, uh, find out if the BME record exists and also if it does not exist, how to, uh, in order to create it, you go to the sagari.com website um, and then uh, you basically look up your particular domain, an example, and then submit. It shows the result if it uh, um, finds a BME record or not. Um, make sure that you add DMARC record before you create the BME because it's a prerequisite for you. Um, so it says BME record not found and then um, if you scroll down a little bit here, you can see create BME record. So you got to click on this create BME record uh, button and then it's going to uh, show a form uh, where you need to fill up a few details here. Uh, so you can actually go ahead and uh, uh, create a, a BME record. You can also update it from the same manner. So the first question for which domain you want to create a BME record so just give it uh, the domain name where is the logo hosted so this depends on where your logo the company logo is hosted um, so this is just an example um, again um, I wouldn't know where your logo is hosted so this is just an example here uh, I'm just gonna type in um, logo PNG something on those lines, right? So whatever the logo URL may be uh, for your own company, you just have to mention um, that um, logo URL. So feel free to just um, add the HTTPS. Uh, so that way you're basically giving a full blown uh, the URL. Where is your certificate, ho uh, certificate hosted? Again, this is going to be your own uh, URL. Uh, so you basically um, enter the company uh, logo where the certificate is hosted and then the first name last name email address so basically uh, who is the contact person uh, from your side uh, for this particular domain and what is the company name and then you uh, click on submit uh, when you submit it is actually going to give you the uh, BME record uh, that um, you're actually going to go um, add as a txt record uh, so the logo does not um, uh, actually it's not there at the link so that's the reason why it's not showing but if provided you have uh, the right logo URL it would have shown um, and this is the BME record as you can see so it is basically um, txt type uh, b equals to BME1 and then uh, this is uh, the logo URL that is uh, uh, that it just added and then this is the dem uh, this is the domain for which you're actually creating a uh, the BME record. Uh, so this is um, meant for this particular domain. Uh, so all you need to do is, is just copy this value and then uh, go to uh, your hosting provider. I mean it could be GoDaddy, uh, Bluehost, Lunar Pages, whatever it may be. The hosting provider where you have hosted um, uh, your DNS record. So you got to log in and then enter this particular um, the TXT record. So this is just to show an example uh, for um, uh, the uh, lunar pages so where you enter this default dot BIMI underscore BIMI so that is the uh, value that you're going to add so I'm just going to take this out so it's default dot underscore BIMI uh, that's the, um, the, the host name and then uh, whatever the BME record that you got uh, you're going to put that into the value and this is a TXT record yeah, uh, so this is a full-blown uh, the record that you can see. Uh, this is meant for a different domain, though. Okay, uh, so I'll uh, show you the the domain for which uh, the BME record exists. 
So let's just go type in agari.com and then um, asmiller.io for which um, the BME record exists. So you basically go submit. And here uh, for this particular domain, the BME record already exists. Uh, so you can see that the logo uh, is clearly shown and uh, this is the BME record for massmeter.io and uh, this is how the logo will appear. Um, basically, Massmailer will appear um, in front of the email uh, like this and uh, that's how uh, it appears. Yeah. Uh, so thank you so much uh, for watching this um, video uh, and if you have any questions, uh, feel free to send us an email at uh, support at massmiller.io or hello at massmiller.io or you can raise a support ticket by going to support.massmiller.io. Thank you.